Hi everyone, um, good evening, good early evening. Um, so welcome to this call and uh, this Zoom with the title, Are You Different But You Don't Want to Know It? So a few days ago, so Pena, uh, Pena is my host. Uh, so Pena was chatting with me and then we were looking at, okay, so how can we uh, let more people know what is this thing called X-Men? Okay, so, oh, by the way, so for all of you that, um, if this is the first time you see me, uh, my name is Ryan and I'm Access Consciousness Certified Facilitator. And I also do this thing called X-Men. Uh, so when I say X-Men, uh, I actually mean like people like you, okay? <clears throat> so X-Men are those people that are misfit. How many of you, you know you are a misfit? And when I say misfit, I don't mean it in a negative way, okay? Uh, but most of us, when we hear this word misfit, we think that's something wrong, okay? Uh, by, by the way, you are definitely a misfit, okay? Everywhere that you try to fit in, that's where you lose you, that's where your life becomes so boring, okay? <laughs> and you have to do things like how other people do it, and that's really not you, okay? So uh, we call people that don't fit in, these people that are so different, X-Men, okay? Uh, because X-Men, we have special power, we have special abilities. Okay, so uh, I don't know how long this Zoom will be, maybe for 45 minutes, maybe. Uh, so feel free to ask me any questions about X-Men, uh, meaning those people with, for example, autism. Okay, if you hate people, even just a little bit or a lot, but you never want to admit, okay, that's autism, okay? You know, sometimes you look at some people, you have no idea how they can connect with so many people, you don't know why they can keep talking to people and they never feel tired. But when you go and talk to people, you feel like you have to force yourself. Okay, take a deep breath. Okay, now I want to talk to someone. Okay, connect with someone. Uh, it's so hard for you. And then when you talk to someone after that, you feel like, what am I doing? Okay, you have no idea what you are doing. You just want to run away and then you just want to hide yourself. Uh, very, very, very likely you, you are actually autistic. Okay, um, so those X-Men, um, you have this autism thing, you have um, ADD, ADHD, okay? So for example, a lot of you asking you to do only one thing at a time, that's impossible, okay? Uh, and asking you to focus on one thing, to meditate, for example, that's impossible. You know, when you force yourself to sit there and meditate, and then inside your mind, you're like, going around the world for like, I don't know, five times, okay? You go everywhere, okay? And then you judge yourself nonstop. You're like, okay, what's wrong with me? Uh, why I can't just um, focus? Why I cannot make my mind go quiet? Uh, well, that's you, okay? That's not a wrongness. And I will explain later why this is actually not a wrongness, but this is actually uh, one of your superpowers, okay? And of course, OCD. Okay, a lot of you here, you are obsessively, compulsively, well, I wouldn't say it's a disorder. So OCD stands for obsessive compulsive disorder. I wouldn't say you have disorder, but you have, you are definitely obsessive and compulsive about something. Okay, so this is where uh, we have so many superpower, we have so many differences, but because of people will judge us, okay? Every time when you, uh, you have something different, people will judge you. And when you don't want to be judged by other people, you believe if someone say you are wrong, meaning means you are really wrong, uh, then you have to hide your difference, okay? So for, to, for to this evening, for this Zoom, um, what about we, we hide ourselves less? I wouldn't say you completely unhide yourself, okay? That might be impossible, but if you can unhide you a little bit more, I would say that's good, okay? So anyone have any... Mm, anything that you want to say? Okay, actually, I feel really weird in, the, in <laughs> right now. <laughs> okay, the, the reason why I feel very weird is um, I feel like a lot of you don't really know what I'm talking about. Okay, you are like, you know you are different, but you pretend it with so much and then you use so much of your energy to pretend you are not different. And then you're like looking at me 
watching this Zoom with this energy, with this state of light. I don't know what you're talking about. What difference? I'm just a normal person. Enough of that, okay? So, uh, so this X-Men thing is an access consciousness specialty class. So of course, I will use the access consciousness clearing statement, um, the crazy phrase, right and wrong, good and bad, power and power, all natural spoils and beyonds. And I can see some of you here, you are in a class. So I think you have fun learning bars or facelift today. Fena, what, what, did, what class did you do today? Is it a facelift or bars or what? <laughs> Oh, who is that? Oh. I need to meet someone. Hi, Fena. Hi. <laughs> oh my God, you all look so happy. What's going on? <laughs> Did you do a bus class today? Or? Yeah. Uh, today's bus. Yesterday's yeah, best sleep. And ah. someone said, doing best sleep to. Uh, siapa yang tadi anaknya? Uh, uh, ini ya, yeah. yeah. she doing first lift to her sons, yeah, uh, in the morning. So the sini sih ya. Okay. Uh, before she get sleep and after that, uh, in the morning, so he can apa ya? Flu, get flu in the morning. Usually, uh, Never can get up. Yes, it's like a uh, slime. Oh, slime. Yes. Yeah. In the morning, uh, our sons slam get out from the nose <laughs> before. I, uh, yeah, before he cannot. Do. I don't Is understand. It's like uh, a letter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll <laughs> talk. <laughs> okay, can so me, can me you... say it for you? Uh, yes, please. So she has a son that has a running nose and okay. cannot breathe. And then after the face lift, the, the running become uh, better. So that's okay. good result. Yay! Awesome. See, that's easy. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, so now pen type. So Fena said, so her son usually get allergic in the morning. Uh, yeah. So you, with bars, with facelift, even though, for example, with facelift, okay, even though we said it's mainly for you to look younger, okay, but that's just one of the many, many benefits, okay? It's never, in excess, nothing is linear. It's not that uh, you, you learn this facelifting only for one purpose okay sometimes you can ask your body like body right? do you want this energy and your bo the body said yes and then you receive this energy and then um, different things show up and then maybe you some illness or pain will go away as well okay so that's a good result that's always good to know oh by the way for the rest of you so fena is in indonesia somewhere in indonesia i don't know where she is <laughs> she told me but i forgot <laughs> All right, so, uh, oh, okay, I see someone wrote something here. So when I attend a seminar or class, I cannot make summary for the sum seminar or class about. I only know for myself, but I can't describe it a lot to other people. Do you think I'm dumb or different? Oh, is that, a, is that really a question? That's not a question, okay? You have decided you are dumb. <laughs> Okay, and that's, that's, that's what you call difference. No, you are not. You are definitely not. Okay, let me clear some. Ah, oh, I don't even know where to go with this. The energy is so strange. All right, so everyone. Everyone that you have been judged for the difference, for the differences you be and have, will you please destroy and create it all? Right, wrong, good and bad, power and power, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So how much energy are you using to Try to pretend to be normal while you definitely know you are definitely not and cannot be normal. Everything that is, times a gazillion. Will you not please destroy and create it all? Right, wrong, good and bad, pot and pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Okay, I need to run this a lot more. So how, many, how much energy are you using to force you to be normal? Pretend you can be normal while you definitely know you are definitely not normal and can never be normal. Everything that is times a godzillion will you not please destroy and create it all. 
right, wrong, good and bad, pop and pot, all nice shots, boys and beyonds. Oh, thank God, I have someone say yes, please. Someone is responding to me. Yay! Otherwise, I feel like, oh, am, am I talking to someone? <laughs> okay, let me run it a few more times. So how much energy are you using to suppress the difference you be and have? Trying to be normal. Thinking normal is what you are. Thinking normal is right. But you, at the same time, definitely know you are definitely not normal and can never be normal, no matter how hard you try. So you better give it up. Everything that is. Times a gazillion. We are now please destroy and create it all. Right, wrong, good and bad, pop and pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Okay, that slightly changed the energy to some degree. I can sense some lightness now. All right, so everyone, let me go back to this topic, okay? So you are not normal, okay? You are very different in many different ways, okay? If you are normal, you wouldn't be interested in, for example, access bars. You wouldn't be here attending this Zoom live or watching this later, okay? Um, but this is a world that we have since when you were a little kid, okay? Most likely you have you had parents that force you to be normal, okay? Because when you are so not normal, they don't know what to do with you. Oh, that including some of you that you are parents. <laughs> when your kids are so strange, <laughs> so unusual, so crazy, you look at them, you're like, oh, what do I do with you? I don't know how to deal with you, okay? And when you do that, it has some judgment there, okay? I don't mean like you are bad parents and you are judging them, but a lot of those judgments, they came from maybe your parents, okay? And maybe came from the, your grandparents. So your grandparents judge your parents and your parents judge you. And then now when you have kids, you just pass it on, okay? So uh, this is how judgment works, okay? When someone deliver the judgment to you, if you align and agree with that judgment, so for example, let's say your, your mom used to tell you, oh, you, you are wrong this way. So you, and then you bought into that, you align and agree with that judgment. Now, and then, so you believe you're wrong. And then the next time when you see someone else do that, that could be your children, you will project that out. Okay, so all the judgments that you have received just because you have been so strange, so unusual, so different, and you also judge other people this way, let's destroy and create all these judgments, okay? Right, wrong, good and bad, pop and pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Oh, I can see a kid there. <laughs> okay, uh, so in access, okay, we have this specialty class called the Access X-Men. The reason why we call these people X-Men is because we know these people with AC, OCD, ADD, ADHD, and autism, um, you don't have a problem. You don't have anything that you need to fix. You have a superpower that you haven't learned how to use it yet, okay? So, or maybe you have children, okay? Or maybe you are a caretaker, or maybe you are a school teacher. You have to deal with those children. Um, if you keep thinking that they are wrong, they have problems, even though you don't say it out loud, okay, they will know, they can sense it. Okay, so how many of you, you always know when other people judge you, even though they pretend they are not judging you, right? There are a lot of people like this, okay? And sometimes because of you have this awareness, when you sense the judgment from other people, you just want to run away. You want to hide yourself, feeling wrong. You feel like, you feel like, Maybe there's something about you that you need to fix so that you can be, you will be accepted by other people. Okay, so this is an example. This is a very classic example of you thinking the difference you be is a wrongness. You need to hide it. You need to eliminate it. Okay, but guess what? When you do that, you actually, the more you do it, the more you try to fix your problem just because someone else judged you, the more judgment you are actually attracting. Okay, you fix one problem and then other people will judge you in a different way and then you fix yourself again and then you receive another judgment. Okay, so when are you going to have ease just being you? 
Okay, so this is something that we have never learned before. Okay, because no one really told us that we can be okay. We can, no one really told us that you being different is actually okay. Okay, so everywhere that you try to be normal, um, so that you don't draw too much attention. Oh, okay, that's all of you. <laughs> Will you please explain and credit all? Right, wrong, good and bad, pop and pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Okay, so again, this is totally rela related to judgment because the more attention that you get, the more judgment you receive. Okay, so this is also why um, some, but when you are so different, you find it very hard to have a place in this world. Okay, you might even find it hard to have a place in your own family. Okay, in your family, you feel like, yeah, this is family, they should support me. Okay, we are family, we love each other. Uh, by the way, that's a fantasy. Okay, <laughs> if you have family like this, congratulations. <laughs> okay, uh, so see, in, in your family, maybe your parents are judging you. Okay, just because you are so strange, so different that they don't know how to handle. Okay. Oh, so someone said, feel like an outsider everywhere. Yeah, that's you. That's why I said you, you are a misfit. Okay. Uh, and it's not wrong. Okay, so all of you, as soon as I just mentioned the word misfit, I can sense all the resistance, all the judgments. So all the judgment that you have just because you are a misfit and everyone, almost everyone around you wants you to fit in. Will you please destroy and create all of that? Right, wrong, good and bad, pop and pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Uh, oh, someone said, they told me I was a rebel and couldn't be controlled. Okay, why is that a problem, right? Okay, do you want to be controlled or do you want to be like not controlled? Okay, so see, this is why people judge you. Judgment is something that if you believe judgment is real, if you believe judgment is powerful, okay, judgment control you. Okay, so let's say you are so, you have so much energy, okay? Like, for example, you just keep running around you. For example, you, keep, you see kids, okay? If you force a kid to sit still and do nothing, that's impossible, okay? So they have so much energy, they just want to do things, they just, they run around, blah, blah, blah. And then the moment that you tell them, like, Hey, that's wrong. Okay, you need to be quiet. You need to sit still. Okay, and if that kid align and agree with this judgment, now the judgment can control that kid. Okay, so why would we let judgments control us? Okay, so judgment can only control you if you first, you yourself, you believe you are wrong. Okay, so what? How many self judgments do you have? Okay. Um, and allow other people to judge you and control you. Mm -hmm. Everything that is times a gazillion will now please destroy and credit all. Right, wrong, good and bad, pop and pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Ooh, okay, so how many self judgments do you have that allow other people to judge you and control you? Everything that is times a gazillion will now please this right and credit all. Right, wrong, good and bad, pop and pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Uh, that has a lot of energy. Uh, how many self judgments? How much energy have you used to turn those judgments from other people? into your self-judgments. Oh, that's even worse. Everything there is times a gazillion. We will now please destroy and credit all. Right, wrong, good and bad, pop and pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Okay, uh, let me see what questions do you all have. Uh, let me see. Uh, so Imelda said, Ryan, sometimes I can hone my being annoying idea, but sometimes I cannot. I what, what do you mean hold your being? 
okay, I don't really understand what you said. Uh, and then in class, they, uh, they judge me, I don't mind. Yeah, cool. Uh, all right, so Imelda, you need to give me more information. I don't know what you mean. Okay. I hi, Raya. I hi. Uh, uh, thank you for oh, the you're call. Annoying. You're annoying. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I know that I'm weird. Uh, sometimes I can hold my uh my being we weirdness, my being weird. But okay. sometimes I just cannot stop uh to not say anything. So I hope I can uh hold uh what I want to say, just being interesting point of view. But yeah, sometimes uh. Uh, cannot would you mind to give the clarity about that? Well, you're asking something that is actually a different topic, a different subject. Oh, sorry. Yeah, but it's it's all right. It's all right. Uh, I will give still give you some clarity here. So, if you feel like you must say something, you cannot hold it back. Uh, some very often it gives you problem. It gives you trouble. <laughs> okay, so. Um, you see, if you want to say something, that's fine. But if you insist, you must say it, regardless of what other people can receive or not, regardless of other people can hear that or not. Usually, that has a lot of judgments. You have decided what you are going to say. It's definitely right. If you, and you're trying to be a control freak. This is where the OCD comes in. Okay, You're trying to control everything. Uh, believing yes. that if, if other people could hear what you say, align and agree with your points of view, then we have world peace. It's not going to happen, okay? You will only have World War Three and Four and Five and Six. <laughs> okay, so this is where you need to work on yourself to get over those judgments. If you see something, even though, okay, see, if you see something and then you, you feel like, okay, uh, you probably notice that there are limitations there. There are some lies. Okay, you know sometimes when you see people, they believe. To, okay, let me let me put it this way. So let's say you have a friend. Okay, your friend believe in a lie. Believe in a very stupid lie. Okay, you try to save your friend. Okay, you try to change your friend, but when your friend won't let you. Okay, you feel like annoyed. Okay, upset, angry, blah blah blah. Okay, um, yes, because you sense something weird is going on. But then at the same time, you need, you need to know, okay, whatever that I'm going to say, will this be received? Can this person receive? Who muted me? <laughs> Anna, you muted me. <sighs> okay, Anna, you're horrible. I need to take away your co-host right. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. So, um, so I hope that helps, uh, Imelda. Uh, so if you insist you must say something, um, you have to check a few things. Okay. If I say this, what will we create? Okay. If you ask that question and then you feel that by saying that uh, it will create heaviness, don't go there. Okay. And then talk and pot all the judgments that you have and Talk about everywhere that you're tr you're trying to control a certain result. Unfortunately, you are not God. You cannot control a certain result. <laughs> okay, so that's my answer for you. All right. So, um, see, people with okay. Let me let me talk about X Men. Okay. Uh, so, if there are a few signs for you to know are you an X Men or not. Okay, for example, you are way faster than other people. Okay, you are super, super fast. When you see other people are so slow, you get so annoyed. You are like, why are you so slow? Can I kill you, please? Don't block my way. Okay, so that, that would be one sign that you are X-Men. Number two, you know what other people are thinking. So that's why, just like I said, you know if other people are judging you. Okay, they might judge you a little bit but you will perceive that intensely. You will perceive it like, oh my God, that's a huge judgment. Okay. So, and most people have a lot of judgments in their world. 
um, it's not wrong, okay? Don't judge those people for judging, okay? If you judge them for having judgments, you are having judgment as well, okay? What you need to do is you need to learn to not be affected by other people's judgment, okay? Just because you can feel it, just because you can hear it inside your head, doesn't mean you should be affected by them, okay? You know like, oh, okay, this person is judging me. All right, thank you for your judgment. No problem, easy. Okay, so um, maybe I will do a clearing about this later and hopefully it can take you out of the reaction of being judged, hopefully, okay. Um, and then, so let's say people with um, ADD, ADHD, okay, you have so many things inside your head, you have so many ideas, okay, you have so many crazy thoughts. Okay, so let's say you force yourself to meditate. Okay, you force yourself to sit there with your eyes closed. Okay, even for five minutes, it feels like five hours. You just close your eye for two seconds and then you're like, okay, is it, is it time? Okay, so it's, it's impossible. Okay, it's impossible for you because you are always so aware. Um, you can, especially when you try to meditate, you pick up thoughts from basically everyone else. Okay, so okay, let, let, let's try this. Okay, so all, all of you, okay, unless you are driving, if you are driving, don't do this. Okay, now with your eyes closed, okay. Okay, with your eyes closed, are you, are you less aware or are you more aware? Okay, do you feel like you can still hear noises in other people's head? Okay, yeah. So if you try to force yourself to silence your monkey mind, right? A lot of us, we, we, we learn this phrase called the monkey mind. You have so many monkeys inside your head. For me, I don't think that's a monkey mind. Okay, I think that's a King Kong, right? You have, you have a King Kong inside your head. <laughs> okay, so, um, so see. Then you start to wonder why other people seem to be able to do it. Okay, other people, you, 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 from your point of view, you're like, oh, they can do it right. They can meditate. They can silence their mind. Okay, I cannot. Something must be wrong about me. Okay, so this is where you start to have a lot of judgments. You compare yourself with other people. Okay, you, um, you always think that if you can be like other people, then. You, you will be, you can be, that means you are right. Okay, but actually you are not. Okay, you, there's no right or wrong here. You just have to realize you are different and your differences are not wrongness. Okay, so that's why in Access we have this uh, X Men specialty class. It's for people like you that you are definitely a misfit to realize um, you're not wrong. Okay, when you realize you're not wrong, you start to come off, come up from hiding. Okay, you don't, you no longer need to hide you. Okay, so okay, let me do clear, clear, clear it first. So, what have you decided is definitely wrong, bad, and terrible about you that you need to hide it? That you definitely need to hide it by hiding you, by hiding who you are. Everything that is times a gazillion, we will now please destroy and create it all. Ooh, right, wrong, good and bad, pop and pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Okay, let me do it again. So what have you decided is definitely wrong, bad, terrible and evil about you. And you need to hide it by hiding all of you. Everything that is times a gazillion, we will now please destroy and create it all. Right, wrong, good and bad, pop and pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. <clears throat> Oh, we have 127 people. Oh, that's fun. Cool. So what have you decided is wrong, bad, terrible about you that you need to hide by hiding all of you? Like, for example, you believe if no one see you, then no one will see that part of you. Okay. Your dark side. Okay. There's something that's wrong about you. Okay. So everything that is times a gazillion, we will now please destroy and create it all. 
right, wrong, good and bad, pub and pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Ah, okay, so, um, I don't really know what else I want to talk about. Um, the reason why I don't really know where I want to go, where right now it's because there is still this strong energy of um, we should just be normal, okay? Like being different is just wrong, okay? How many of you, you have this point of view that you should be like other people, you should be certain way, okay? So everywhere that you have been implanted and explanted to have this point of view, to believe that's correct, that's good, and you try to be that, we'll please this round credit all. Right, wrong, good and bad, pong and pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Okay. Uh, anyone have any questions about being different or not being different or being normal? Anyone? You are like waiting for something to be given to you. <laughs> Okay, let me, um, okay, now, I will use kid as example, okay, so that you will know what I mean. So if you look at a kid, okay, so, oh, I can see kid now, okay, more kids showing up. <clears throat> uh, they are just being themselves. They have fun being themselves, they run around, they say whatever they want to say, they have, they have total fun, total joy, okay. And then as they grow up, they start to align and agree with judgments from people around them, okay? Could be parents, could be siblings, could be neighbors, could be school teachers, okay? And the more judgment that they receive, uh, the, more, the less joyful they can be, okay? So let's say maybe you have kids, okay? You send your kids to school and then they come back and then they feel like, uh, you, know, you know something is wrong. Okay, most probably because they have been told that they are wrong for who they are. Okay, so how many of you, wow, oh, that has a lot of energy. Ooh, how many of you, you have been told you are wrong for what you are and who you are? Hmm. Everything that is times a gazillion, we will now please destroy and create it all. Right, wrong, good and bad, pop and pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. How many of you, you have been told you are wrong for who you are and what you are. Ugh, everything that is times a gazillion, we know ugh, that has a lot. Like, like judgments from your entire life, like all showing up at once. Everything that is times a gazillion, we know please this and create it all. Right, wrong, good and bad, pop and pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Mm -hmm. How many of you, you have been told you are wrong for who you are and what you are, your entire life? <clears throat> Everything that is times a gazillion, we will now place this one and it all. Right, wrong, good and bad, power and power, all nine shots, points and beyonds. Okay, so now, back to kid as example. Okay, so if you look at those children, they are, they are all different. Okay, let's say if no one is judging them, if, it, if let's say if you have a group of children, okay, they are not judging themselves. Normally, they depends on the age, they haven't learned to judge that much yet. Okay, so, with a group of children, they all can just be themselves, okay? So they are not judging themselves for being different. They are also not judging you, okay? That's why a lot of us, when we are around children, we feel, we feel, we feel easier, we feel ease and easier, okay? You feel like, oh yeah, I can be me. In front of the children, I don't need to put a mask on, okay? I don't need to pretend to be someone else. I don't need to prove that I'm good, I'm right, I'm perfect. I can be imperfect, I can screw up, and I'm still, yeah, this is me, okay? So, see, you can have this ease with children because they are not judging you, okay? So, children, they have this uh, natural state of being. So I would say this is a superpower, okay? They are not judging, and then they're inviting you to be you, okay? But on planet Earth, people judge so much, and those children eventually just learn to give in, 
Okay. So let's say the first time you 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 were told that you were wrong. Okay. You you didn't give in. The second time, third time, fourth time, fifth time, and then eventually you give in. Okay. You're like, oh yeah, I'm wrong. Okay. So how many times when someone judge you, even though you don't believe you are wrong? No. Let me put it this way. Let me put it in a sentence that's easier to understand. For the same judgments, how many times do you have to receive it for you to give in and surrender and believe you are definitely you are really wrong? For some of you, that's like once. <laughs> okay. For some of you, maybe like four times, five times. You know, the first time someone say you are wrong, you're like, no, I'm not. I don't care. Second time, uh, maybe. Third time, I think I'm really wrong. Okay. So. Wow, everything that brings up, uh, everywhere that you let repeated judgments to defeat you, we please destroy and create it all. Right, wrong, good and bad, park and part, all nine shots, voice and beyond. Everywhere that you let repeated judgments, repeating judgments, okay, repeated, repeating, repeating judgments to defeat you, we please destroy and create it all. Right, wrong, good and bad, park and part, all nine shots, voice and beyond. Uh, so, now everyone, I have a question for you. I want you to answer me. What makes a judgment real? What makes a judgment real? What makes judgment powerful? Can you really answer this question? You are, you are just like, go blank. You're like, um, yeah, what makes a judgment real? Adjustment. Yes, Henry. Uh, sorry, I didn't am hear I you. Am I agree or not? Am I agree or not with the judgment? Yes, yes. You, yeah. You align and agree so that it affects you. But what makes it something real for you to align and agree? Okay, you you first decided that's it has to be. A, okay, it's like you believe if someone say it about you, that's definite, that's real. Okay, so when someone give it to you, even though you know that's not true, you know that's not correct. Secretly, you will still try to see. Maybe that's correct. Maybe what they say about me is correct. Okay, even the judgment can be coming from someone that is really judgmental, someone that's mean. Okay, you know that person is mean and has no good intention at all, but you still secretly try to analyze it and see maybe that person could be correct. Okay, so let me tell you what, there is absolutely nothing correct about judgment. Okay, judgment is just someone's point of view that they decided they are correct, they are right, and you are not, and then they project, project that on you to try to control you. Okay, so when I ask all of you, like what makes a judgment real, your mind cannot understand, cannot answer this. Okay, see, there's no logical reason behind it. But we just keep unconsciously believe that um, judgment somehow has some sort of power and you allow that to control you. Okay, so everywhere, so Everyone, everywhere that you make judgments real and powerful, um, and and you allow judgments to affect you and control you and limit you, and all you can do is react against the judgment. We will please destroy and create it all. Right, wrong, good and bad, pop and pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So everywhere that you make judgments real and powerful, you give power to judgments, allow judgment to control you, limit you, and destroy you. And all you can do is react against judgment. Will you please destroy and create it all? Right, wrong, good and bad, pop and pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Okay, so judgments, they are everywhere. Okay, now you as an X Men, you will you perceive it intensely, okay? 
So when it comes to you so intensely, you feel like something must be defi definitely wrong about you. Okay, so you try to hide you. Um, at the same time, you know you're different, but at the same time, you don't want to, to know you're different. That's why we have this title today. Are you different, but you don't want to know? Okay, so if you can acknowledge you are just that different, okay, and there's nothing wrong about you being different, you start to have ease in your life. Okay, you don't need to fix you to please other people. You don't need to fix you in order to have less people judge you. Okay, and when I say fix you, I don't mean you stop changing. Okay, if you learn something new, you make a different choice in your life, and then you keep changing and you become greater and greater and happier and happier, that's amazing. That's great. Okay, so if you change something about you so that your life gets greater, that's perfect. That's good. But if you fix you, hopefully you will have you will receive less judgment from other people. This is where the problem is. Okay. So then the reason behind this is because you go back to what I was talking just now. You believe judgment is real, it's powerful, and it can control you. Okay. So I think I will give you one question for you to ponder. I will not give you the answer. Okay. And when I say I won't give you the answer, I don't mean like if you come to the class, I give you the answer. No, that's not what I want to do. I will just leave this unanswered for you to go ponder forever. Okay. What choice can you make for you to truly realize judgments have no power over you? Okay. What choice can you make? You might make that choice tonight or maybe tomorrow or maybe 20 years later. Who knows? Who cares? So what choice can you make for you to know and realize judgments have no power over you? Okay, see, when I give you this question, you're like, oh, I, don't, I don't understand. Okay, you're like, okay. But so allow the energy of this question to go into your world. Okay, so it's like planting a seed in your world don't fight it, don't resist it, don't, uh, don't go against it. Let this go into you, um, like planting the seed. Um, eventually you get it, you get it when you get it. Okay, so uh, let's see what else did you all ask just now? Yeah, someone said when you react to it, you give power to it, yeah. The reaction is because you, you first believe that's something that you need to fight against. You, you have already decided that's something that is powerful, okay? So everywhere that you, you, you are doing reaction, okay? So this is something for you to uh, be more aware of yourself in your daily life, okay? Check, okay? Pay attention, be more aware. Where are you doing reaction? With whom are you doing reaction, okay? When so, other people say something, what did they say that will put you into reaction? Okay. Those, those areas are where you have judgments and you also make you powerless. You make other people's point of view, other people's judgments um, greater. Okay. So this is something for you to take away as well, for you to go ponder. Uh, all right. Uh, what else do you all want to talk about? I have, I have like maybe five more minutes. Anything else that you want to know? Anyone have any last question? It's very funny. I didn't quite get to the X-Men thing today, but we clear a lot of things about judgments. Okay. See, I'm not trying to control. <laughs> I'm not trying to control where this Zoom go. Okay. All of you show up with your energy, with the questions that you have, whether you ask it out loud or not, we go where we can go. Okay, I learned not to control so much. <laughs> I finally learned that. <laughs> okay, uh, so hmm. what else? Anyone has anything that you want to talk about? Or oh, Fena, do you have something? Fena, I'm 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 asking Fena because Fena made me do this too. Okay, so if you don't like it, yes. uh, blame Fena. 
Yes, Fena. Yeah, someone asking the question here. Yeah, what is the question? <laughs> they might need to come closer, otherwise uh, I cannot yeah. hear. Okay. Yeah. My son, when he was uh, at the kindergarten, wait, 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 wait. He, always, the internet. he always wait. are running around in the classroom. Yeah. Is that because they have infinite energy. They have so much energy, they don't know what to do with the energy. Okay, when, when kids just, wait, 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 your internet is like freezing. Uh, I need to put you on mute. Sorry, I need to, I need to mute you first. Wait, I cannot even mute you, I don't know why. Oh, that's very strange. I'm host and I cannot mute you. What's going on with Zoom? <laughs> that's very interesting. Okay, you must be too powerful for me to mute you. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, kids, they have so much energy, okay? They always have. Um, so yeah, I, yeah, her question is, uh, is my son ADHD? Uh, this is for you to find out. I'm not going to label anyone as ADD, ADHD, or OCD, OCD or whatever. Um, these are all points of view. These are all labels. Okay, when you are having some quote unquote symptoms, okay, so the doctors or whoever they will label you, oh, you have you have um, ADHD, and then you will carry that label with you, um, feeling wrong your entire life. Okay, so for example, let's say. Can you, I believe most of you, you have not been officially labeled, okay? Now, can you imagine this? If you were labeled as ADD, ADHD, OCD, or autism when you were, let's say, six-year-old, okay? How would you live your life from six-year-old until today? Okay, you will feel like, okay, I have this label. I'm wrong. I'm, I'm something, okay? So labels, it, it actually create a lot of limitations, a lot of distract, destruction, okay? So if you ask me, is my son ADD, ADHD, I'm not going to answer you that way because I don't want to add label to someone, okay? Um, you have to first recognize ADD, ADHD, OCD, and autism, they are not a problem, they are not a wrongness. Then you can finally embrace that, be that, and you can have, you can have ease in your life being an X-Men, okay? No matter who judge you, no matter how they judge you. Okay, so that's my short answer for you. Uh, well, it's not that short. <laughs> uh, I have a few people say it's such a powerful clearing here. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for receiving. Thank you so much. Uh, hmm. Well, I don't know what else I want to talk about for now. Any other question? Yes, Vena, what else? Vena, you said she asked. Yeah, yeah, okay, you are, you are, you are. Can I discover my son's potency as an X-Men? Yeah. First, you have to acknowledge your potency as X-Men first. Okay, both, she said, by doing bus. Uh, bus will definitely help a lot, okay? It will clear a lot of the judgments that you have so that you are not try you are not feeling wrong and then trying to hide what you have decided is wrong about you, okay? Um, and then, as I said just now, if you have judgment about yourself first, this is where you actually allow other people to use judgments against you to control you and limit you. Okay, so bus will definitely help. That's why a lot of you, uh, after you learn bus, after you have your bus run, you feel like, oh, I'm now, I have, I have more space. I can breathe now, okay? Someone asks, is everyone X-Men? No, not everyone is X-Men, okay? Uh, there are a lot more X-Men now, especially with new generation. If you look at those kids, okay, nowadays, 
there are a lot more kids that are like super fast, super aware. You have no idea how they know so many things, but they are just aware, okay? And they are less controllable, and very likely they are going to control you. <laughs> See, X-Men, they are actually a power, okay? They are evolution of species, okay? So the, they are evolution of species because they can create a different future. So this is what X-Men is about. Uh, a lot of us, we are X-Men. Um, so, and then new generation, there are a lot more X-Men, but not everyone. All right. Um, I think I have enough for today. Uh, even though I didn't really get to what I want to talk about. <laughs> but who knows, I might do another Zoom someday in the upcoming days. I don't know. Okay, I might. Uh, so thank you everyone for your time. Uh, please listen to this Zoom. Uh, even though, you see, I tried to explain more about X-Men, but I couldn't. It's like, it's just not that the space and the time for this topic, but we, we cleared how judgments control you, how judgments limit you. And I believe that's more valuable for today. Okay. So, um, and you can also, you can actually go to my YouTube, maybe a few hours later, I will upload this to my YouTube. You can find it, you can find it there. All right, so thank you everyone. Have a great evening, have a great night. And I see you when I see thank you, you and I might do another one. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, see you in the Zoom for business, business. Oh yeah, that's tomorrow night. Business. I have so many things. Oh my God, tomorrow night, 10.30 yeah. p.m. my time, 10.30 <laughs> p.m. China time, 10.30 p.m. Philippines time, 9.30 p.m. Oh, Indonesia yeah. time. Uh, there's another Zoom. It's called uh, "Are you Are you having a business or are you having busyness?" Okay, busyness is like you just keep doing and doing and doing and doing. And you are not sure what you are doing. You feel like if you don't do that much, you are wrong. If you do that much, you feel so stressful, so hard, not happy. You are stuck. Okay, so a lot of people they have business, but they act like they are doing busyness. Okay, so that's for tomorrow night. Okay, this is just a little bit of. Pizza. Okay. So, yeah, I see you tomorrow night if you're interested Thank in you, Ryan. Any more business. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. Okay. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye